All right, I got the uh, Emacs Tiny Hawk Freestyle here. Um, this is the original Tiny Hawk Freestyle. I added some mods to it. I added a Runcam Nano 2 instead of the board camera that it came with. I added a camera extender and protection TPU printed parts. I added a VTX that gives me 200 milliwatts of power and I added a better dipole antenna to the back over what you get with the stock unit. Now all those mods or I should say the camera the VTX those are something you can get in the new Tiny Hawk 2 freestyle that just got on the market here in May and uh, they also put a taller dipole antenna versus the one I have shooting off the back here. So you can get all those changes. The one thing uh, I'm pointing out on this video is I added a mount for the Insta360 GO camera that I just have strapped to the bottom here. I have it angled at 10 degrees down. It gives uh, actually a nicer perspective and it also keeps the props out of the imagery. So I just want to share that with you. And show you some of the footage from that from a flight I just did. Now you'll see in the footage there's a little bit of white from the mount shown in the footage. So I've cut that off now so it's not showing uh, anymore. And then I didn't clean the lens like I should have prior to doing that flight. So there's a little bit of smudging on the top center in some of the footage. But uh, that's one thing that probably put on the checklist. Make sure you clean the lenses, both your FTPV and your HD camera before you take off if you want to get the best experience. Alright, on to the footage. Thank you. 